Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Uh, this is a Tesco shopping vlog, but we do regular shopping vlogs all throughout the year, in particular during the festive period and then in the January. Which is where we are right now. We are in January, January the 7th today in fact so if you haven't seen we've already done our Sainsbury's and an Aldi shopping vlog you'll find them in the shopping vlogs playlist which I whack up there uh, right now now somebody asked an interesting question on Instagram recently and I think it's uh, important to um, tackle okay she said um, I've, basically I've already had something meat is it too late to start for January now because I really want to it's never too late to start for January even if it's March. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Every it's month a, can be the January. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's January is a great place because it's become the January and so a lot of people do do it for a month. What we hope is that you do it for a month with a view to doing it for life. Yes. I think if you go into it with a finite, right, I'm only doing this for a month, you do yourself a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. Really, because uh, veganism is easy, cheap, delicious and nutritious and helps the planet, animals, you, future generations. It's all about planting trees you'll never sit under. So true. Um, so we're going to go in Tesco because in our, in a recent, oh no, it was on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, by the way, here's all our social media links. Uh, we're on there. So now and again, I'll just snap a picture while we're in a supermarket uh, because it's not but we'll vlog it today because they've got a whole new range of sandwiches in and they've got this meal deal thing fingers crossed I always do this now because you know as those of you who are our uh, core subscribers and people who watch a lot of our content as you will know it is oft a postcode lottery it geographically um, but we're hoping because it's Veganuary and we've given Tesco a little bit of time you know, um, we can go in and uh, and see what they've got. Yeah, but must be said, Tesco have all year round always got a good range, and hopefully, anything new that they do bring in for the January will stick around. That you d you don't find that with uh, Aldi or Lidl, unfortunately. A little bit inconsistent. It, even though Aldi have got a plethora of amazing stuff in at the moment, more than we vlogged mm -hmm. actually, because they just weren't. Yeah. You know, they had a lot, a lot in, yes. but that wasn't all of it. Uh, some of it will be gone by the end of January. So we think it's better to stick to the supermarkets that have stuff all year round so that you can... If you can. Yeah. Of course. Maintain your stuff, you know. Shall we get going? Let's get in and uh, do a bit of shit. snowing here today in uh, in Oldham, in England. Snowing. Woke Snow this morning. Snowy sleety. Snowy sleety fame. So let's go in there where it's nice and warm and hope security don't say, hey, what are you doing? Because they've stopped us filming in this one before. Yeah, a bit stealthy in here. But saying that with a big rig and a camera and a big furry mic on top, this is just fun. Come on. <laughs> so we showed these on a picture on Instagram last week. Um, we've already had the roasted vegetable and pesto, that's not new. Uh, the Greek inspired salad is new, says so right there. We had we tried that last week uh, and it's actually quite gorgeous. And there's also falafel, hummus and no mayonnaise. But then we come down here and there's a vegan BLT and a vegan all day breakfast. Uh, which is quite in fact, Jay, I think we should try one of these for lunch. Yeah. Between us. Yeah. Um, so a really good range of sandwiches and wraps in the um, in the meal deals at Tesco. If you're uh, in a rush or at work, fantastic to see. Right, we're not going to show you a huge amount here because it's worth having a look yourself. But the, for example, for us, if we wanted some body spray, this one is um, Tesco's own, and somewhere. It says, can you see there, suitable for vegans, just above the hazard there. Uh, and it's the same with 
um, shaving gel, uh, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, bath form, toothpaste. Um, uh, in fact, we'll show you the mouthwash because it's as good as Listerine and we use it, have done for ages. So we'll show you that and then we'll move on. But if you check all your, all your labels, you can basically get all your personal care products from Tesco really easily. And the lovely feminine version, <laughs> two pound a bottle, but it does say um, vegan. Where did, oh yeah, it's there in big green writing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Toothpastes are a pound, complete care and complete whitening. Uh, again, they say suitable for vegans. And quick look at the mouthwash. It's this one right here at 125. Clearly marked vegan and really, really good. Just like Aldi, there's a good, great selection, in fact, of fresh fruit and veg. And they do do a kind of set five every week with good prices. It's definitely worth getting a Tesco card uh, just for the savings you get. Marvellous. As always in Tesco, there's a really, really good selection of uh, chilled items. Uh, if you've never tried these squeaky bean cold meats, um, they are all, every single one of them, absolutely delicious. I shit you not. Well worth, well worth trying. Uh, the Wicked range are now doing a fantastic range of um, meals. Big bro enchiladas and blazing biryani. What's this one? Oh, meat free cottage pie from um, Plant Chef. And mushroom fettuccine pasta. Loads of things. And um, the Wicked range also do their own range of cold meats. 50p more than the um, the uh, squeaky bean ones at the moment, but still really good. Uh, the the filled uh, raviolis are gorgeous. Uh, we usually have them with just a garlic butter sauce. Get some vegan butter, minced garlic in a pan, uh, and you know drizzle it over your pasta. Gorgeous pizzas and coleslaw sausage rolls and those mini savoury pies are fantastic uh, they're lovely cold with a bit of mustard but they're also gorgeous done in the air fryer so that the pastry goes crispy take my advice there if, if nowhere else in life take it there uh, and then there's all of this stuff ball and Ginsters and vegan passes from Quorn. Fantastic. Uh, when the Quorn stuff is vegan, by the way, it says vegan on it. Uh, apparently, they've just brought a lot of new, ra uh, new range of frozen stuff out that uh, one of our uh, subscribers has got from Asda. So, oh. That's quite nice as well, by the way, for a kind of cheese and onion pasty feel. Worth trying. So yeah, great, uh, great selection. Now those pots may seem a bit small and pricey, but believe me, they are absolutely gorgeous and they're that intense. You only need a little pot of them. We've got our pro cream, our pro mousse, spray cream. Lots of different kinds of cheeses. Ignore that one, that's goat's cheese. It really shouldn't be in here, Tesco. This says free from Tesco. Tesco. <laughs> uh, Via Life Epic Mature is lovely if you like a really kind of strong cheese. Slices and bags. Uh, Tesco, of course, do their own range of cheeses and little pots of fromage frais. There's lots of yogurts and chilled soya and other such milks. Quite a good selection. This one here is our standard. We've been buying it for seven years. Never curdles in hot drinks. Tastes great on cereal or just as a cold glass of milk. And this particular little section is actually on the meat tail at the end of the meat tail. And I should imagine it's the same in most Tesco's. Um, but they've got the uh, 
Viva, the Viviera. Uh, all the different, they've got the bacon, the Greek style kebab, and the shawarma kebab. They're all great. Uh, the what the cluck from the vegetarian butcher is really, really good in stir fries and curries and such. Uh, Garden Gourmet, I've not seen those ones before, but that same as, says vegan, quite clearly, £1.75. Lovely. Uh, the Meatless Farm Mints. Tesco Plant Chef Meat Free Crispy Nuggets. It's for the kids. <laughs> uh, we've got some Richmond bacon. Uh, it's really good. We like it anyway. It's one pound fifty with your uh, club card. Two fifty without. This isn't bacon. One fifty club card price. Two ninety five without. See why we say it's worth getting the club card. Um, the Viviera chicken style breasts are supposed to be really good. This is a pork sausages. This is like a chicken style roast with gravy. £3.50. Breaded goujons. Southern fried fillets are lovely. We've had them. Garlic kievs are very good. Panko crusted fillets. Oh, they sound nice, Jason. We have tried them. Yeah. £2.50. And then Richmond do burgers. Taste and Glory, Richmond Sausages, and Plant Chef Sausages. Really, really good selection. We haven't even got to the freezers yet. Now, if you ever hear people talking about Nooch, this is what they mean. It's the short version of nutritional yeast. It's got loads of um, B12 in it. It's just really good stuff. Now, it looks like fish food. I'm going to be honest, it does. When you open the packet, it looks like fish food. But it's incredibly healthy. We have it, um, what about trilogy? Yeah. We have it on our uh, steamed veg sometimes. I make a creamy pasta sauce with it. I put it in tofu scramble. It's just really, really good stuff. And they've also got the ox or beef style and chicken style vegan meat-free stock cubes gonna get the chicken ones because I haven't had them yet uh, but I've already got two boxes of the beef ones at home I use them quite a lot now um, so yeah great while we're on the subject of stocks just have a quick look at the gravies Tesco's own onion gravy and vegetable gravy are both clearly marked vegan uh, but to be really honest with you we always go for Bisto Best Onion. It's absolutely gorgeous. It isn't marked vegan, but it's vegan by ingredient and it's a staple in our cupboard. And on the sauce aisle, there's a load of different kinds of um, uh, mayonnaises. So there's, of course, the Hellman's, uh, you know, plain old vegan mayo, and then there's the baconese one which is quite lovely cheaper are the wicked ones uh, again a baked no a peri peri and a garlic Heinz vegan mayos but look at this plant chef vegan mayo 44p bargain <laughs> and then plant chef uh, salad dressings Oh, cool cucumber and dill. That sounds gorgeous. Magic maple, we've had this one, it's really nice. And a vegan salad cream. So a really good selection of sauces. There, marvellous. A few moments later. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, we were in Tesco Failsworth <laughs> and uh, we realized the freezers were very understocked and no meal deals. So we've come to Tesco in Oldham, the big one in, in well, in Oldham. Um, just wanted to show you these wines, 3.99. Chardonnay, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, Merlot and Shiraz. They're all uh, taparu, and they're all marked suitable for vegans. So that's quite kind of marvellous. We've just whacked two in our trolley. Now let's go and have a look at the freezers here and see if they've got any meal deals, shall we? 
We can also highly recommend these, uh, the Hearty Food Court. Um, avoid their noodles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this garlic bread, garlic baguette, is 32p and absolutely fabulous. Clearly marked vegan, of course. Just going to show you a quick blast here, only because this this particular you'll find the bigger Tesco's have a much better range. Um, so there's like the Follow Your Heart smoked gouda. They're expensive, but they're beautiful. It Chester vegan melting uh, cheese. Lots of diff vegan blue up there. It Chester vegan blue and Oatly vanilla custard and uh, Whippable just uh, you know more of a selection and even more of a selection of Tesco's own ah never seen that before coconut alternative to halloumi That's literally what I just seen oh wow <laughs> yeah never seen that interesting that is interesting jalapeno and chili cheese slices and the nourish of course which is a bit like camembert good to see you lot if you're into a soup by the way you will often find a really good soup here at uh, Tesco so you've got all the big companies jumping on the bandwagon now Heinz and Baxter's 116 a pound or you've got Tesco plant chef at 45p for tomato chickpea and aubergine or rich tomato and basil or smoky lentil and red pepper uh, so another one Jesse uh, is it the sun-dried tomatoes? Oh no, there, right here. Oh right. Uh, sweet potato and coconut. Ooh, 45p. That one sounds really good actually. Uh -huh. Sweet potato and coconut. So fantastic, you know. With some crusty bread. Oh, you can't beat it, Brommers. If you like pasta sauce, the Hearty Food Core do one at 39p. Tomato and herb clearly marked suitable for vegans but many of these ones are the mushroom pasta sauce 65p uh, no added sugar bolognese sauce plain old bolognese sauce red lasagna sauce yep suitable for vegans um, so a really good selection of sauces too I wonder if they've got any curries let's have a look oh that's a nice shot Brommers nice and wide <laughs> So they do have some cooking sauces, but for example, the sweet and sour cooking sauce and the hearty sweet and sour are marked suitable for vegetarians. Uh, the sweet and sour reduced sugar is marked suitable for vegans. Is that one marked suitable for vegans, Jeff? Kung Pao, Pao cooking sauce is uh, suitable for vegetarians, but it's vegan by ingredient. Right, and what about that dark one at the end there? Oh, this is uh, black bean. And this one is suitable for, vegans. suitable for vegans, yes. And they're all 80p. And of course, a great range of uh, noodles and pastas and sauces and such. Always check your noodles though, because some of them have got egg in. Uh, but many of them you can just chuck right into a pot. Right, let's have a look at the freezers, shall we? So the freezers here are a bit better stocked than our uh, our most local Tesco's. Uh, again, just a huge range of stuff uh, available. They've got the v the VFC um, chicken. I have to be honest and say I've not heard good reports about it. And uh, with that in mind, I'm not going to try it because I don't want to. Um, but they've got oh, are these all vegan, Jay? These look new. Yes. No beef, no pork, no yep. chicken pieces. We can't vouch for them because we've not had them, but it's good to know, to see the choice and variety. One of the best pies on the market, Linda McCartney. <laughs> we love them. I've got to take a second as well to shout out Wicked's ready meals, the frozen ready meals. All the ones I've had in the Wicked range are absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, we've just found these, thanks to Leone in our group on uh, Facebook. She went to Asda and uh, spotted these these things. We've never seen them before. Quorn buffalo wings and quorn crunchy strips. And they're only £2 with your card. Um, and they're clearly marked vegan, which is always fantastic to see. And then, of course, you've got the bird's eye green cuisine stuff. We've had pretty much the entire range now. 
I believe the only one of them that isn't vegan is the vegetable quarter pounder, the vegetable burger. Uh, but pretty much everything else is vegan. You can see the prices there. Very, very good. Uh, especially with your um, cat club card, 125. Fantastic. And of course, um, Tesco do all their own uh, stuff as well. Herbie Bangers. Who don't like a Herbie Banger? Um, Jason and I have had them. They're lovely. How much are they? 375. Taste and glory. Sausages. There to 25. Uh, ooh, here we go. Corn jumping in now. Two vegan steak bakes. Hey, it's about time. Hey, well done, Quan. So yeah, we're gonna get them three, uh, but our freezer is desperately <laughs> bursting at the seams at the moment. Just mention these as oh, well. Oh, can I just say as well that the Linda McCartney mince is really good. I've not seen these before. Good catch. Vegan Society approved. We've not tried them, so if anybody has, let us know in the comments if they're any good. Bow it out. No meat pies there from Plant Chef, two two pound ten. And let's have a look at some pizzas. Got the uh, vegan stone baked falafel, good fellas. This is I discovered recently is one of my favourite pizzas ever. You loved it, didn't you? Beautiful, just beautiful. It is lovely. And I didn't have to church it up. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, a whole range of uh, vegan pizzas available to stuff right in your face. And why wouldn't you want to, you know? I want to. For a treat. So Tesco's is one of the only places that sells the other flavours of the Swedish glacé ice cream. They haven't got the vanilla, but they've got the strawberry and the chocolate. And lots of these oatly, I've never seen this one, Jay. Is that vegan? Oh yeah, plant-based. Plant-based ice cream. Yeah. Here's one chocolate cookie. Bit. Uh, well, it's pricey without a club card. It's a fiver or two fifty with. It's a bargain. Ben and Jerry's cookie dough, caramel brownie, and chocolate fudge brownie. Vegan magnums. Oh, they've got the sea salt caramel. Oh, they've got. Um, and minis. Yeah. Six minis for £2.50. And then down here we've got birthday cake ice cream, four chocolate and cherry corns, three berry white sticks, a chocolate almond, a really, really good selection of sweet treats. Uh, but they're just on the ice cream aisle with all the other ice creams, so keep your eye out for them. The Tesco's own... Uh, chocolate bourbon creams which are 39p for a nice big pack like this are clearly marked suitable for vegans and they've also got some wicked um, double trouble chocolate cookies and outrageously orange cookies we've had a discussion with a few people on our channel recently about Tesco's used to do a dark chocolate digestive which was by ingredients suitable for vegans but it hasn't been in either of our local stores for a long 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 time so if you still get them where you are you're very lucky they're very nice Jay's just spotted these um, they're actually about suitable for vegans mature cheddar and red onion flavor crisps at 90p it's not bad is it at all Bad at all. And obviously the sea salt and black pepper ones will be suitable for vegans. Yeah, well, like I said, I think some of it might be left over from the Christmas festive stuff. Or... Roast beef and horseradish flavour. What about them, Jet? Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Suitable for vegans. 90p. Marvellous. Lightly salted lentil curls. 85p for a pack of six. They're actually quite lovely. And they're going now a trolley you know why it would be rude not to he's got it 
and of course a huge selection of plant milks down on the uh, we're on the free from aisle just so as you know free from um, loads and loads oh look even high protein milks didn't know how pro we're doing that now that's cool that actually it is cool so lots and lots and lots of choice that is not taken forcefully from a cow why wouldn't you oh look at that fancy coffee both vegan from Nescafe Gold. Uh, Eat Real, all of their chips are fantastic to be honest, we love them all. And we were just looking at uh, some of this stuff here because it's, this is where it gets a bit difficult and we do understand that you out there who are vegan and gluten free must really, really struggle sometimes because a lot of the stuff that is marked gluten free then has milk or eggs in it. Often. Often. Well, but these three don't, which is nice to see. Yeah, these three are all gluten-free and vegan. So, flapjack bites. What are these, Jay? Uh, Chocolate yeah. cornflakes and... Oh, the cornflake clusters, yeah. 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 Not bad. Not bad at all. So, this is all we're getting today. Uh, but we hope we've shown you a plethora and we shall have a chat back in the car. Don't forget the Pret but the frozen vegan croissants done in the air fryer. They're absolutely amazing. And now and again, you get a bag with seven in. Cheeky. Oh, we're doing our clothes. We're in Tesco car, car park because we're done with it now. It's an underground car park. It isn't, well. Kind of. It's not underground, is it? Going deeper underground. Um, I have to say, as much as I'm a big fan of Tesco and their range really disappointed that the uh, wicked meal deals which you would think would be the perfect target audience would be people doing veganuary is not on display in Thalesworth or Oldham Tesco's we just had to ask a young man in this one very pleasant chap called Scott lovely, thanks Scott for helping us out love, he went and had a word with the manager and he came back and said we've got it it's all in the back, it's just not been put out yet I said will you please tell your manager that it's the 7th of January now we're a week into the January, this stuff should have been on the shelves 7 days ago I did hasten, or we did hasten to add, Jason we know it's did. not your fault Scott, we know well, it's that's not why your I said fault to him, will you please tell your yes. manager um, but it is disappointing, you're right. Half -arsed. It's half-arsed, yeah. it's half-arsed. It's like climate change, global pandemics, animal agriculture, intrinsically linked. And yet, one of the antidotes, veganism, not displayed like it should be. No. Especially, like we've said, in January. We have um, one month a yeah. year, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, on the plus side, on the plus side... Absolutely fantastic range of stuff. Yes. No better time to try vegan, go vegan, uh, switch out, get more plant-based stuff in. It really is a fantastic selection. So it's not a criticism of Tesco overall. It's just, like Paul said, oh, it it's a bit half-assed. It is from me. It's, yeah. It is a criticism. It's just like do, these managers need to do their jobs better in these superstores. Yeah. They need to... Don't give me the... Oh, well, I'm not vegan, so I won't... It's like, as a manager, you need to think about everybody. Everybody. And in Veganuary, stuff that is perfect for Veganuary should be on display. Guess when? All Veganuary. Which is January the 1st to the 31st. Because mm -hmm. uh, at first, we were kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt. We were like, listen, we know there's a lot of um, staff sickness at the moment across the whole of the UK. Um, we know that stock and supply, we know there's been issues there. But then when, when they came back and said to us, yeah, it's in the back, we've just not put it out yet, we were both like, come on. Yeah, it's just, you know, just make more of an effort. It's like people that have set themselves up to do for January from January 1st, would find these meal deals perfect. Yeah. Eight pound for a main aside and a, a pud for like two, Paul says, two people. Make more of an effort or we'll keep calling you out. We will absolutely keep calling you out. But like we said at the start of the video, there is, it's don't think, oh, I'm too late now to do, you know, to do Veganuary. You know, jump in any time. However you start, whether it's one meal a week, one week, one month, 
or one month with a view to changing the rest of your life is something. And we and the animals and the earth are really grateful. Yeah. So time. thank you for taking an interest. Right, should we get home and have that sandwich? Pretty hungry, actually, yeah. We'll put some text down here now to tell you what we thought of the sandwich rather than film us eating it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would also just like to add, just before we wrap up, that, of course, and I think Paul's mentioned it previously in, in other vlogs, we can't cover everything. We try and show you a nice selection of stuff. Yeah. Um, but also, part of the adventure of being vegan... Is you finding Is you your going own. on your adventure and discovering stuff that we might not have even seen, and then sometimes you let us know about stuff. It's a fabulous community, yeah. um, but we want to leave a little bit of the, the the spice, a little bit of the adventure of finding new vegan stuff to yourselves as well. Um, so I hope of you course, enjoy otherwise that. it's just us spoon feeding you yeah. everything. We did call in Aldi this morning to get some more of those um, panel chocolate. We did. And, and some the croissant. regular croissants yeah, yeah, yeah just to try them. trying them um, and uh, lo and behold the freezers were full potato salad coleslaw in the fridges and yeah all of the stuff's in the freezer now but we were like no we've covered enough we don't need to do a top up really you go and have a look yeah that's the fun of it I love you, mister. I love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Do stick around on the channel. Please consider giving the video a thumbs up or a subscription. Uh, we will see you again very, very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. A bit acoustic in the car, <laughs>